Alrighty, hello guys, Welcome to Pixies back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the build of this thing. Now you might imagine that it's actually finished. And to be fair, a lot of you guys didn't actually see this series. But if you've clicked on this video and you haven't watched the series of building this, that's okay. Because what we're going to do today is we are going to get rid of Bullstrode's uh, interior, which is actually this, uh, these three hoppers right here. And we are going to replace those with missiles. We are going to arm Bullstrode up with missiles. We're also going to actually go ahead and install some machine guns on the sides and, uh, yeah, set the, uh, set this thing up for, uh, I don't know, wartime, I guess. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and start deleting things. Let's go delete this, delete this, delete this, and delete all of this. There we go, exactly, that's perfect. Delete all of that as well. We then need to figure this out a little bit better, so... We're actually going to go ahead and seal this off like this, I believe. Uh, all the way to the end, I guess. Yeah, just like that. Bam. There we go. Excellent. We're going to delete this bit on the bottom, and we're going to seal this off just like so. There we go. I think that should be good. I think that's enough room. Uh, I believe our fuel tank needs sorting, though. So we'll actually do this. And, yeah. They can, they can see each other. That's all good. I think we're fine. So... This little section right here is actually going to be where the missile goes, uh, or missiles, I guess we'll have a few, uh, and it should be cool. So yeah, let's do it. Alright, so first things first, we're actually going to go ahead and start painting things. So we're going to paint all of this like so. Uh, the interior of this is actually going to be painted grey, uh, which should be fine. We're just going to go ahead and paint around the edge like this, around the edge like that, and around that edge too. Drug this, drug this, drug this, and drug that. There we go. So now we've got a little area. For some missiles, I guess. Uh, with that being said, actually, can we delete this and can we have it further back? I think we can. There we go. We'll have it just like this. Excellent. That's perfect. Right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and drag that bit in real quick. And there we go. A little bit of an extra bit of room for our missiles. This is cool. Alright, so there is going to be a little bit of an issue here. And the issue is going to come from... Um, th there's going to be a few problems here, but it'll be fine. So, essentially, I need a roof on this, uh, unfortunately. So we will actually need to put a roof on. Can I put stuff in front of this? Yes, I can. Okay, excellent. Uh, because that's Bullstrode's face. We can't really put stuff in front of it. Not really. I mean, it is possible. We could. We might. Uh, but anyway, we need to put some missiles in here. And I'm not entirely sure what missiles I want, to be honest. I really don't know. You know what would actually be, be like, pretty cool? I, I don't know whether you guys are like this, but... You know I built that thing a while ago? One sec. Yeah, you know I built this thing a while ago, and, uh, there was... I mean, it, there was a few issues with it, obviously, but, like, we could just launch... Uh, launch our rows of, of bombs, and then they go everywhere? Well, I kind of like the idea of using that in Bullstrode's thing, so... If we need to do, like, a land invasion, we can just pepper the island... Or whatever with this. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Let's use that. So yeah, we need like a mini version of that if we can. So how do we go about doing that then? So I think the way we do actually go about doing it is maybe we actually we load up this. Alright, we grab we grab a few of them. So so we know they work. Alright, we do know they work. We'll grab a good few and uh, we'll send it down a line. There we go. We'll have I don't actually know how wide Bullstrode's thing is, which is maybe an issue, but that's fine. So, go ahead and cut this. We'll load up Bullstrode. There we go. Excellent. And Bullstrode is... is... Ah, uh, oh, one less. One less. Okay, that's good. So, paste this here. Delete this one. There we go. Okay, excellent. Uh, in fact, actually, delete all the bottom bits as well. Uh, all of these. There we go. And... There we go. Nice. So this is all we need. Perfect. This is going to be good. Maybe. Let's go ahead and paint these a slightly different color. They're actually going to be green. They're going to be green to begin with. And that should be good. So we'll paint all of it green. On all of them. And hopefully that'll be a-okay. They're all green now. Excellent. Except that. There we go. Nice. We get some green bombs. Uh, and they'll just get sent off. And it'll be good. Maybe. Okay, so how do we actually want to fit these then? So we need to go ahead and cut them. We need to flip them up so that they uh, are pointing in the right direction, which is uh, directly into the sky. There we go. We need to lower them down to a point where they can be without interrupting anything. Uh, and that should be fine. So now we'll put them in here. Like so. Paste them in. 
Uh, and then we'll build this section in so that it works, and then we should be good to go. Alright. How does this even work? <laughs> How do we do this? We need a pivot. Alright, we need a pivot point. It needs to go back inside of here. And then the pivot can go on there. There we go, excellent. We need to know which way the pivot is actually going. I think it's correct. Alright, excellent. We now need hard points, which is going to consist of these guys. And it's going to be this color. Oh, I think it actually has to go... Oh no, it's not these, is it? It's not these hard points. It's the other hard points. It's it's these ones. This is what we need. Alright, but it needs to go back here. Interesting. Alright, delete this. We'll get a new one. Put that in there. Grab this one. Delete this. Delete that. Put that in. Put this piece right here. And do this on here. Bam! There we go. So all of these need putting in the right place all the way down there. Yep. Merge these two together. Excellent. They should all lock onto there. We should be able to angle it slightly, I think. Uh, and we should be good to go. Yeah. It needs a slight anglement. Angle anglement. Uh, and then it should be good. So get ourselves a throttle lever and we'll see how this works. We will in, in fact see how it works. So connect this to there and connect it to here. Give it electricity to there. It was there, it was there, and it was there. Very good. And then we'll connect these guys all to electricity as well. Not that they need it. And there we go. Alright, cool. We then need a button too. So let's see if we can just test it out thoroughly before we do anything. Uh, attach this directly to the launch, which is somewhere on here. Hang on. Uh, release. No, launch, 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 and launch. There we go. Fantastic. Give that electricity as well. Go. Let's go see what we can do. Boing. All right. So, so far, very weird, but that's okay. All right. So, angle. Yeah, that is probably enough angle. Go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, they went backwards. Yeah, I don't know if that's how you want to launch these. I have a feeling you don't want to be launching your your rockets, your bombs, backwards. Uh, probably a bad idea, but let's go see where they land and see how much damage they do. Ready? I like it. I like it, but we need to modify our little boat in order for it to work a little bit better. So, in order for it to angle inwards... We are going to delete some things. We're going to delete this, and this, and this. And, in fact, this whole line as well. We could actually just get rid of this, to be honest. And that would be fine. Uh, and I think we will, to be honest. I think we will. So, we'll actually put this in here like this. We'll do these guys. Sorry. We'll do this. And then we'll do... Ah, where is it? This. Like this. So that it can still angle inwards. And hopefully all that will go uh, well. Alright, cool. Spawn in again. Let's see if we can do it again. Let's go. Da -da 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 -do. Go, go, go. Yes. So we need it to angle about... Th yeah, that's good. They still somewhat... They might drop on my head. But we'll see. Uh, where are they? Alright, they're separated out a little bit. I could just about see them. And we'll see what kind of bombardment we can get with this. I know I said missiles at the beginning, but yeah. This is good enough for me. I like it. Oh, that wasn't very far away. I think one of them landed behind us. <laughs> right, but I like it. That's cool. Uh, we can angle it further if we move these a little bit further forward. So cut this. Move it forwards just a little bit. All right, merge it back on. And we'll see what kind of angle we can actually get out of this. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. Let's go. Let's go. Jump on Bullstrode. Do this. Alright, 70. Oh no, it is actually about 50. Alright, go. Yes, there we go. Oh, there we go. That is like a proper bombardment. Go. Yes. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, they didn't explode because because they landed in water. But we will be attacking islands, so this is okay. Alright, so now, essentially, we just need rows and rows and rows of those. And that's it. That's all we need. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so, we need... Uh, this, sorry, this, down to there. We need uh, this side of it. Okay, very good. We need this bit, and also this bit. And actually, we need to go further. We need that bit, and we need that bit. Okay, copy. Move backwards. 
we don't want to interrupt anything with this one, but we can continue. Paste that there. We don't want to interrupt anything else. Continue. Again, same thing. Continue. Same thing. Continue. All right, same thing. Continue. And there we go. That is where it will end. Nice. All right, so merge the pieces in. Merge this with this, 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 this with this. And there we go. So now we've got all of our little rockets ready to go. Uh, and that should be excellent. Uh, I do, however, need to connect all of these to the launch button. So we need to figure that out. And we need to connect this to every single one of these. So let's do a quick old test. I'm going to connect all of these in the right places. And then we'll do a test. See what kind of damage it does. It won't do any. Uh, and we'll see what happens from there. Let's do it. Okay, okay. I believe we are ready to go. We obviously have uh, a load of... Uh... <laughs> We have a load of warheads ready to go. Let's see what actually happens. Oh, they won't angle, will they? That is a mighty fine problem. That is a big old problem, actually. So we won't be able to angle them properly. That was a bad idea. We won't be able to angle them properly because uh, they obviously aren't angled with themselves, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, yeah. Are they going to land on my head? I... Let's see what kind of destruction this does anyway. Imagine that landing all over a beach or something. That's a... Uh, it does damage, you know? It does damage. However, we are going to have to have less of them. So, let's go ahead and uh, cut this. Move it this way. We're going to cut this one. There we go. Cut this one. If we can, cut it. There we go. Move it this way. Cut this one. Move it this way. Cut this one. Move it again. Please, thanks. Uh, cut this one. Move it again. And cut this one. So they're actually going to have to be like one further apart, which is a little bit annoying, but it should work out fine for us. So let's continue. There we go. And honestly, that's probably okay. All right, there we go. Merge them in. So merge this with this, this with this, this with this, this with this, this with this. We obviously need to fill in the floors now, which is a little bit annoying, slightly annoying, but that's okay. Fill in all of these pieces all the way down and then all of this as well. So we'll do this with this color all the way down to the end, if we can, which indeed we can. So there we go. Nice. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and paint this piece and this piece and all of those and then all of these pieces. There we go. Excellent. And then this one and that one and that one and that one and that one. There we go. So we don't quite have as many warheads as we had previously, but it should still work out. So let's continue with these. We'll do it all again and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. You know, just as a side note, I don't know whether I actually give them all electricity when we uh, did it previously, but uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's just jump on here and see if this bit works. And then if this works, uh, I'll be happy. Oh, I will be happy. Look at that. Look at that! That's cool. Look at that. Bullstrode looks shocked, as ever. Very shocked. But uh, now you're ready to bombard a uh, an island. There you go. Bullstrode is... Oh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What happened, Bullstrode? Did we blow ourselves up? I'm confused. What happened? I, I think we're good. I don't know what happened there, but I'm sure it's fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. We're going to cut it. We're going to move it inside. Uh, if at all possible. Here we go. Go sideways. Go this way. And we're going to move it up to... We're actually going to put it here. Now, the reason being is because we don't actually need these dials. We don't need them for anything. Uh, they're completely useless. So we're going to actually paint this in the way that it should be. There we go. And on the outside, there we go. All right, very good. So now we can do that. We also are going to delete this one. And we're going to put another one of these in. It's going to be painted the right way on this side. And the right way on this side. And this is going to be our angle bombs. And, and open doors. Okay, ang angle bombs and open doors. Sure. This is fire bombs. Fire bombs! That sounds weird, but there you go. So, angle... Right, okay. So we need a switch box. Which is actually going to go directly in here. That's probably completely fine. So, do this right there. And this is going to connect to all the angles. So, uh, instead of it being on this thing, it's going to be on a button instead. Which is completely fine. So, there we go. Nice. Delete this. Uh, we obviously need electricity, but that's okay. This goes to here. 
Electricity, electricity, electricity. Very good. And that's fine. Uh, we're going to give these guys electricity through this, I guess. And there we go. Nice. So now we should be able to angle them and fire them. However, we need this to be like 0.5. Go. Let's see what we can do. So jump on the boat. Get inside the wheelhouse. Turn the light on. Turn the other lights on. Full strode, you got this. Okay, let's go. So we're going for a drive. Okay, we're going for a drive. This toggle button does nothing. I accidentally did that, didn't I? Yes. What used to be here? Fuel. Fuel probably used to be here, but that's okay. Right, so let's go find an island. Uh, in fact, we'll turn around and we'll bomb this one. That's okay. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Full strode is obviously very slow. So, wouldn't be very good for this. But let's say a nation was very, 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 very low on resources. And they needed a boat, like Bullstrode, uh, to do a job that Bullstrode probably shouldn't be doing. Uh, well, we can do it. So there you go. Angle the bombs. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, launch them. Oh, okay. So the real ones don't angle too much. I like it. I like it. Uh, the other bombs have just landed. Okay, excellent. We've done a good job here, guys. We've done an awesome job here. I don't know where these other bombs are land. <laughs> They're all landing behind me. <laughs> all right, excellent. No, this is good. This is very good. So what we're going to do in order to make the rear bombs actually work is we need to angle it, if at all possible. However, it is not. It is not possible. No, because the fuel goes through there, and that doesn't work out. We can change the way the fuel goes. We can change it so that it goes sideways instead. That does... That would be something that we can do. So let's try it, shall we? Can I grab... Okay, so we want it to go this way. Alright, we only have one engine, so that's actually fine. Okay, we need pipes in order for the rest of this to work. So straight pipe here. And then we need an angled pipe coming out of there. There we go. And then we need to attach that with that, if that makes sense. So fill this bottom bit in with this. Delete this top layer so all of the bombs can do their thing. There we go. All the way across. And fill the top layer in with... Oh, God. Can I do this layer too? I think I can. Yeah. Okay. So we need it to be like an angle. We need it to be able to come inwards, which is crazy, but there you go. So let's say that that works, and this doesn't get involved. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, send it all the way to the edge. There, right. I'm somewhat happy with that. We just need the fuel to be attached together now, so this goes down here. This comes upwards, obviously, and we somewhat attach them together, I guess. All right, give me the right color, though. Why is it... Why has it changed colour? That makes no sense. Why has it done it again? Be the right colour. There we go. Right, okay. So, now, our boat should still work. We're going to delete this, and we're going to put a new dial in. Which is going to be the right colour. Hang on. It's going to be this. There we go. Excellent. That could go back in there. We could paint it, obviously, the right colour again. And we can put this to there. And this is fuel, I believe. I think. I, I think this is fuel. Alright, there we go. Let me just uh, label it once again. I think it is. I, I don't know whether it should be, but there you go. Fuel. So, now that we've done that, we should be good to go. Let's try it. Hopefully it doesn't just sink, because that would suck. But there we go. Jump aboard. Alright, we got our, little, uh, our little, little bombs ready to go. Turn on all the lights. Turn this on. Let's go. I'm, I'm happy with this. We're doing it. So fuel, we got loads. Yeah, speed, clock, artificial horizon, compass ball. Cargo level, obviously that doesn't matter anymore. Angle the bombs. The rear ones still aren't angling the way we need them to. And I think I see why. There's something in there that's wrong. It's this end piece. Yeah, it is. What? Why is it different? Why? Why is this end one different? That makes no sense. Uh, but there we go. Alright, cool. And then fix this bit. 
I don't know what's going on here. But delete these. Delete that. Delete that and that. Fill this in. There we go. Alright, let's try it now. Hopefully this will work. Boing! Press the button! Come on, press the button! Turn the light on first. All the other lights. Press. Whoa! Didn't mean to press that. Things are happening that shouldn't be happening, guys. <laughs> All of those bombs will disappear. They will not land on my head. Just to let you guys know. But anyway, angle the bombs. Let's go outside and uh, inspect. Yet yeah, the rear ones are now facing forwards. Fire the bombs. They all fire forwards, I do believe. Why did they all go backwards? Why? Why did that happen, huh? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but let's go ahead and try and increase this by a little bit. There we go. We go to 0.7. There we go. That's pretty crazy, but let's see if it works. Jump aboard the boat. We need to make sure they all go forwards. It's just very hard to track them. All right, so they're all angled. Does seem somewhat okay. This one at the front is having issues. Let's make it a little bit less. All right, 0 0.6. 0 0.6. There we go. Go. Please work this time. That would be brilliant. Jump on board the boat. Okay, angle them. Front ones are still having issues, but let's go. I think 0.5 is our... <laughs> 0.5 is where it's at, guys. 0.5. Do not be using the 0.6. Bad idea. They all exploded on me. That's crazy. But anyway, if we're moving forwards, maybe that'll have different uh, outcomes, let's say. So let's go ahead and get this thing moving. And we'll turn around and we'll launch them backwards. Alright, angles. Yeah, I mean, they're still having issues at the front there. It's a bit wobbly wobbly. Bit wibbly wobbly, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn ourselves around a little bit. Here we go, yes. Point ourselves towards the mountains to make sure we actually hit something, hopefully. There we go, excellent. And fire. Okay, so a few of them sort of flew forwards quite far. One of them didn't. The rest of them... Well, we're gonna see. Some of them dropped directly in front of us. I don't know where the rest of them are. We're gonna see, though. Presumably. Oh, a few of them went backwards. So, essentially, what I've actually done is I've created something that launches them backwards. Which is really unfortunate, because I didn't want that. I feel like the issue with that, though, is that... The, the front ones are actually not angling themselves well enough. Or they're not doing it correctly because they're obviously interacting with the side. And that's not good. So let's see what happens now. Alright, so we need to see if the front ones are bumping. Obviously in this situation they are not bumping. And then let's fire. They've all gone forwards, except some of them have branched out. <laughs> They, they've gone all over. Okay, interesting. Let's see if any of them land back on Bullstrode. That is... Oh, some of them are going to land somewhere. Right. Some of them are going to land somewhere. That is an interesting way of saying things. But here we go. So some of them are over there. A lot of them are over here. One of them's here. They're interacting with each other too much is the problem. That is a big old problem. Sag! Very Sag! Okay, so what I've done, because I think I know what the issue is, they're sort of interacting with each other in the sky and then forcing themselves backwards. So what I've done is I've got rid of the front ones and we've left it with the, the rest of them. Even the rear ones are actually still in. So we've got, we've got a load of bombs. So if we now go ahead and spawn this in and we go ahead and try and launch them, let's see what happens, shall we? All right, here we go. So angle them. Excellent. Fire them. Excellent as well. They've all fired off. Some of them have gone somewhat backwards. But let's see where they go. In in the, the main. In the main. So, oh god. Okay, so there's our boat. Let's see where they land. There's one. One's landing right here. That's, that's a little too close for comfort. But there's loads over here. Loads over there. One landed directly in front of us, but not too close. I would say, pretty successful. If there was a beach in front of us, it would have been annihilated. So that's good. 
Yeah, let's try it one more time. We'll turn ourselves around, face the island, see what happens. Can you imagine taking something from Thomas and Friends, like Bulstrode, uh, who actually got sank by the uh, the wagons, uh, slash Percy, kind of, um, and, and turning it into a war machine? I mean, that seems like a really bad idea. The other option was to put, like, an artillery cannon in here. And I do actually like the idea of doing that too. So if you guys want to see Bulstrode with an artillery cannon inside, or maybe even a buffer cannon, we'll see if it fits. Uh, we might do it. We'll see though. So anyway, turn ourselves around. Let's do it. I don't know how it's going to act while moving forwards. Not going to lie. Uh, maybe we'll actually stop and launch. It's probably a better idea. So let's go ahead and stop right here. All right, there we go. Excellent. And we'll launch from here. Yo. Yes. Alright, we could actually add a feature where we just go into reverse and reverse away from this. But there we go, some of them have landed already. There we go, there's, there's explosions all over the beach now. There is explosions all over the beach. Oh, I feel like one landed right next to us, but... You know, it's fine. If we slap it in reverse, we'll be good. Nice, I'm happy with this. Even though it's obviously really weird and wacky. I figured it was a cool a cool little thing to do, so we'll go with that. I don't know whether we need to put a... Uh, I don't know whether it needs a roof on the cargo bay. I don't think it does, but uh, I like it. I really like it. So anyway, uh, I'm actually going to go and end this video here for now. If you guys want to see a Bertha cannon or an artillery cannon or maybe just battle cannons added to, uh, added to this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.